Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this little pink wig from Amazon. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I have earbuds in today because they are actually doing some type of work here in my condo complex and it is extremely noisy. So I was sent this wig from an Amazon vendor to review. So basically I just took her out of the box, plopped her on my head and here she is. Now this wig is pink but it's got a couple of little other strands of maybe blonde in it too, occasionally. So it gives the wig kind of a nice sheen. So let me turn around and let me let you look at the entire wig. And I gotta be careful because I got these things in my ears, hold on. Here's the back. Here's the other side. And let's talk about this wig for just a minute. First of all, these bangs are down to here. So I am going to cut these bangs and I may do this on camera so that you all can see kind of how this goes. I am going to actually give myself some baby bangs and cut them, you know, really short. So we're going to see how that looks. Now this hair, I am not, absolutely am not going to be able to direct this, redirect this hair because you can see right here, there is the wefts, there's no part, there's no nothing. So I'm going to have to be careful about how I do this because this is going to have to be combed straight down. Um, as far as it being a good solid wig that you can wear every day, this is not going to be that. The hair is, is fairly thin, it's not real heavy, it's not thick but the hair feels pretty good. This is not a real heavy wig. It really isn't. Um, I would say this wig is definitely a fashion slash costume type of wig. I think this wig would be fine if you want to just have a fun night out sometime, but I think if you want to something that's going to look really realistic, this is not going to be the wig for you. But as far as just a fun little fashion costume slash wig to create a specific look, I think this would be fine. If you wanted to do a photo shoot with this wig, I think this would be gorgeous. And I'll, as always, if you want to wear a head wrap or a headband with this wig to cover up the top of this, I think the wig would be fine with that. Um, I hate to have to even you know mention that, but I want to be totally honest with you all. This is actually thin for an Amazon wig which is not bad because I think some of these Amazon wigs are just overly hairy, but I know when I was messing with it, if I'm not careful right up here, some of the wefts really, really show. So you have to make sure that you have that covered up if you're going to wear it without a head wrap or a hat. This would be a good hat wig if you wanted to, you know, wear a baseball cap or something with that. And I'm going to show you some different styling options. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take her off my head, put her on my wig form, and y'all can watch me cut the hair. Be right back. Okay, so here I am with her on the wig head. And I'm going to just do some styling on this. And I will fast forward it here. I'm going to do this, but when I, while I'm doing it, I'm going to fast forward it um, for you all to watch just because... You don't need to watch me do every little measurement and every little thing. So let me get to work on this and y'all just watch what I do. And I'm going to try to do it where you all can see as much as I possibly can. So here we go. Okay, so now that I'm back and I did some trimming on this, um, 
I had to trim all the way over here because that's where the bangs came to. I can see a little bit of my biological hair right there. So this cap is not overly large. Um, let me say this right up front about this wig. If you want a pink wig for a costume type situation or just a fashion, you know, a fashion statement or something like that, this wig is fine for that. But if you're wanting this wig as an actual, you know, to wear pink hair at some point and wear it out in public and make it look realistic, this is not going to be the wig for you because this wig does not look realistic. Although, for a costume wig, the fibers feel halfway decent for a costume wig. The fibers are soft. The wig feels good. And now that my neighbors are no longer pressure washing their house, here's the wig all the way around. Let me turn around. Let me let you see. Now, if I wanted to do something like this with the wig, I think this is perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable. Um, I don't think people would be as likely to say, oh, she's got on a wig if you've got something to cover up this top. So let me turn around and let y'all see this with this little hat on. I think this is cute like this. Um, I just do. I think this, this would actually work. Well, let's try her with a head wrap. See how she looks like that. Hold on. Okay, so here she is with a head wrap. And as you can see, when you're covering up that top, this looks okay. Um, so I think it would be okay if you wanted to wear it like this some way. Um, I just don't think this wig is going to be, I just don't think that just like this, right like this, is the best look for this wig because I keep I keep worrying about the wefts showing because the wefts are really, the, the hair is really thin here on top. I actually think that did improve the looks of the wig quite a bit, but I'm still concerned about the thinness up on top of this wig. Um, I, the wefts aren't showing like this, but my side hair is showing. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I think if I put that back up in there, maybe slicked it down, it would be all right. Um, I don't have the ear tabs. I've not fooled with the ear tabs or done anything like that. Um, and I do have my glasses over that. Hold on. Let me try putting the glasses over the top of that. See if that's any better. That makes it a little bit better right there, but you would definitely need to slick that back. Now, the cap on this is not overly large. I've got a wig grip on, and I've got a little room right here, but if you've got a bigger head, this wig will probably not fit you. But I will not be giving this wig, um, honestly, I will not be giving this wig a five-star review unless I review it as a Halloween wig. I think for a Halloween wig, I think this, is, I think this wig deserves five stars. But as a wig wig nope i don't think so but you know y'all know me i love fun looks and for a fun look i think this is pretty i think this is pretty fun i think the color is really pretty let me come in here and let me let you all see this let me see you should see this color the color is and the feel of the fibers is not the problem the problem with this wig it's too thin up here on top that's the problem so I really like the fact that I think I could wear this in the summertime because it's not an extremely heavy wig, but what they have done is they have, you know, skimped up here on top. A lot of those Amazon wigs are like that. You got to watch that and be careful, but I think it's worth the price for a Halloween wig or a, or a costume wig. I don't think there's, I don't, you know, I don't think it's overly priced for that. So I think that's pretty good. So if I wanted to even do like, a little updo with that some way you know you could without any problem I know I've not got this on real good guys I know I've got hair everywhere and I'm sorry about that but um, I wanted to hop on here and review this wig um, the company sent me this they wanted me to make a video I'm going to actually contact the company before I um, review the wig and I'm going to tell them my concerns about the wig and see how they want me to proceed with the review of this wig. Um, I will be happy to review this as a Halloween wig. I'll give it five stars as that. This is good for a fun look, a Halloween look, or a photo shoot. That's what these, this particular wig would be good for. If you're looking for a wig for any of that, 
go for it. Know that you're probably going to have to cut the bangs, but you may not. I didn't have to cut mine much, but I did eventually have to take it off that off my mannequin head and take it back into my bathroom and put it on my head to even it up. The hair on this was difficult to cut. I'm just going to be honest. It was not easy. Most of these Amazon wigs, when you take the scissors to them, remember you're cutting into a thicker fiber than you are if you're cutting one of your, you know, better wigs like John Renault or um, Aesthetica or Ella Villa. You're you're cutting into a thicker hair fiber, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to to cut. So, y'all, I hope y'all have a good day. I hope you all have enjoyed this crazy wig. Um, you know. At first, I was like, I don't know. And then when I put it on, I was like, well, this is kind of cute. The hair fibers feel pretty good. This is a cute style. I like the little beachy waves. I think that's cute. I think the fibers separate nicely. I think it's got good movement for a cheap wig. But <laughs> this top, y'all, I'm like, you know what? You cover that top up, and this, is, this wouldn't be a bad little headband wig. I may experiment with this to see if I can actually turn this into a straight up headband wig because that would be awesome, I think. So visit my website, Ninja Life Coaching. Check out my book on Amazon. It's Lord Am I Going Crazy. It's a 30-day devotional guide to women over 40. Um, I'll drop a link down in the description box to all that stuff. Y'all know the drill. There'll be a link to the wig and everything else. So hope y'all have a wonderful week. God bless you all. Maranatha folks, love you guys. Bye-bye.